Welcome to Grandview Hills. We are Eagle Communication Officers, known as ECO. We will show you around the school and why our school is important. So today we are looking at the IB inquiry wall. Every month it changes, uh, so this month it is reflective. And you can see all these papers from past inquiries. I can connect to one which is open-minded because I have to be open-minded whenever I'm playing the piano. What about you guys? I'm caring because I have four siblings and I have to be kind of patient with them and caring to them. Hello, I am Indy and I will be talking about the plastic bags project in our school. A first grade girl named Annika has started the plastic bags project where we are taking plastic bags and are weaving them together to create um, little beds for the homeless people. So what we are doing is we are saving like the seas from plastic bags um, and we are helping homeless people out there. This is only one of the many ways in our school that we take action. Hi, my name is Heather Reeves. I'm a first grade teacher here at Grandview Hills. We are glad that you're here with us today. We're going to show you a practice we do every day, twice a day, called Brain Train. It helps us with our mindfulness learning. It helps us get ready to go. You ready? Here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. Awesome. The next part of our Brain Train is I'm going to hit the chime, and I want you to listen really carefully. When you can no longer hear it, I want you to raise your hand. Here we go. Who can raise their hand and tell me why do we do Brain Train? How does this help us each day? Kylie, can you tell us? It helps us, like, if we're really, really upset, it could help us calm down. Exactly. Does that help us learn better when our bodies are calm? Mm -hmm. Because we're all frustrated, it's harder because then we only think about the frustrating thing. Exactly. Next, we were going to have y'all join us in the mindful courtyard. Are we ready to do that? So, the rocks on the maze are designed by the kids at Grandview for No Place for Hate, and they have kind things on them. This one says, um, be yourself. Welcome, Welcome to, to Zenden. Zenden. So this is a Zenden. Basically, our exhibition project is to help kids like feel calm and relax while also being in the vi environment. So we were invited by Miss Britt and um, Miss Reeves to read to the children and help them feel more relaxed and calm. We are in what we call Socratic Seminar, and it's a circle, and it's a power circle. And with um, the Socratic Seminar, we are talking about exhibition, and exhibition has different actions. And so this is the social entrepreneurship group. My product is going to be a cleaner turbocharger. My global goal is climate action. Why We've brought ideas change. and our product and our research, and we always help improve it. I love Socratic Seminar because we get to go around and we get feedback and like um, a lot of the stuff that I've changed, that Amy and I have changed, about our product has uh, been because of Socratic Seminar. And so today, the next part of what we were doing is the five whys. It's our purpose. Well, I got my research from Bartanica and SIRS and the Epilepsy Foundation. So I'm going to be educating people about epilepsy, but not just epilepsy, but the different types of treatment. Like I know, because di I'm diagnosed with epilepsy, and I know I'm lucky with the treatment I have, but some places might not have the same treatment as me. I think there's a lot of power in you being able to research that, and then you are so much more empowered to voice how it affects people. And I think that's really awesome that you've taken something that you said is really serious and personal to you and just giving yourself all this information to empower yourself to be able to share it with other people and probably also make other people feel more comfortable. Our lovely art teacher, Miss Reisinger, puts our art up all around the school. So these are some of the third grade Tim Burton self-portraits that they fully drew themselves. And then over here, we did some 3D animals. So we have lizards, um, turtles, and we have fish. And yeah, it's pretty fun for us to see our art when we walk down the halls. Great things are happening at Grand New Hills.